Hello everyone. Welcome back to a lecture series in Gate in Data Science Artificial Intelligence. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about alpha beta pruning technique. Okay. So in the previous lecture, we have discussed about minimax algorithm. Right? Minimax algorithm. This all are the so these all are the types of adversarial search. But in this lecture, we are going to discuss about alpha beta pruning, which is just the optimized version of minimax algorithm. Okay. Okay, so this example we have discussed in the last tutorial, right? So based on minimax algorithm, we have solved this particular example, right? So there are two players, max player and mean players. Max player will always try to maximize its chances of winning, and mean player will always try to minimize the score of maximum player. Okay, so this is how minimax algorithm works, right? Now this is the uh, two-player game. Two players are playing this particular game. One is max and one is mean. And now this is a turn of max player. Okay, now max player will uh, take the next move. Now, out of these three possible actions, A1, A2, A3 are the possible actions which that max player can take on this particular uh, state, at this particular state, right? So, based on minimax algorithm, we have decided that, okay, max player will maximize his score if we go through this particular path, right? If we take this particular action A1, then in that case, he will maximize his chances, right? So mean player, what will do? Mean player will try to minimize the score of max player. So out of these three, out of these three, which one is mean? Uh, which action will give us the mean minimum value? Because these are the utility value of the terminal state. These all are the terminal state, and these all are the utility value of the terminal state, right? So mean player will always try to minimize the score. So out of these three action, mean will do perform. Mean will perform this A11 action because uh, by this he will get the lowest score. That is three. Right. Similarly, for all the three cases, and after that, we have find out. Okay, max player will uh, take a one uh, path because this is how it maximizes the chances. Because out of these three, uh, a one will be maximum. So maximize score. So final maximum score of this particular max player is three only. Right. So this is how we discuss min uh, mini max algorithm. But in this algorithm, we are going to a deepest node like terminal node, trying to find out to utilize uh, utility value. And comparing with all other nodes, like first we are uh, taking the note of this particular uh, value, then we are again backtracking, then again we are coming to this particular node, then again we are backtracking, again we are comparing it these two values, then again we are backtracking, again we are comparing the three value, and then finally we are said, okay, this is the minimum value out of all those three, right? So we have to compare each and every value to find out which one is minimum, right? So in this case, we have to explore all the nodes. In this case, we have to explore all the nodes, right? Here to get the uh to make the decision right which action should i take right so this is how minimax algorithm works so what are the properties of minimax algorithm so it is complete yes it is complete but when if the tree is finite right so what is the time complexity and space complexity so as we discuss uh, it so it is based on the first exploration so time complexity order of p to the power m right so m is maximum depth and b is the number of legal moves at each point so space complexity will be order of b into m right so whether it is optimal yes against an optimal opponent does even better when mean not play optimally so this is basically a like same thing right so if suppose if your opponent is not playing optimally then anyway your chances of winning is more right so this is how minimax algorithm works now let us discuss about the pruning right so we are discussing now alpha beta pruning right so what is pruning first right minimax search has to large large number of states right like all the nodes he has to search but possible to compute correct minimax decision without looking at every node in search tree but is it possible to correct the to choose the correct path without looking at the each and every node in the search tree for that we can follow pruning method so, elim so eliminating a branch of a search tree from the consideration without looking at it, it's called as pruning. Okay. Suppose this is my tree, right? Like this. Like this. Suppose we have a tree. Okay. Now we find out, okay, this is the maximum value of this tree from I got from this particular uh, branch, right? And here the minimum value is say 2, right? So anyway, I will always look for a, suppose this is mean player and this is max player, right? So max player will always try to maximize the score. So he will always look for greater than three value and mean player will always look for less than two value, right? So in this case, both the condition cannot be true because for a particular value, it cannot be less than two and it, can, and it cannot be greater than three, right? 
right so here we can say okay we even if we get the less than two value anyway we are not going to follow this particular path because we always look for greater than three value right so we'll try we'll not explore this particular path because anyway from this particular end i am getting the two value so i don't need to explore this particular path because already i have the maximum value which is greater than this particular value right mean value so we'll prune this particular entire branch of tree so this is called pruning this is called pruning okay so we are eliminating the particular uh, tree from the search right so so this is called pruning so we'll discuss with the help of one example now what is alpha beta pruning right so prune always br branches that cannot possibly influence final minimax decision right so even if we consider or not consider it is not going to influence the final decision of max right because anyway he is not getting the more value uh, than 3 right so that's why it will not going to affect the final decision of a max player so it returns the same moves as general minimax yes so it's basic so it is basically a optimized version of minimax algorithm right now what is alpha beta pruning here so it can be applied of trees of any depth right often possible to prune entire subtree rather than just leave so that we are so that is what we have discussed earlier now what is alpha and beta here that is alpha and beta here so alpha equals to value of best highest value choice found so far at any choice point along the path for max player so alpha value deals with max player right and in other words the worst score lowest max would possibly get right so update alpha only during the max turns or play so alpha belongs to max player so we update only uh, value of alpha when max is uh, playing this next turn okay now what about beta value so beta value of base that is lowest value choice found so far at any choice point along the path of mean okay so beta values corresponds to uh, mean player right so in other words the worst score that is highest mean could possibly get right update beta only during means uh, turn player okay so we'll discuss this how alpha and beta works okay okay so same example we are discussing as we are discussing the minimax algorithm okay so same uh, state is given to us this is max player this is mean player these all are the terminal state and these all are the utility values right of the particular terminal state the max player will always try to maximize its score mean player will always try to minimize the max score so max can take three actions a1 a2 a3 when max will take a1 action or a2 action or a3 action so next turn will be of mean player right so in this way the game proceed between two player first max then mean then mean so in this case the game progress right first max then mean then max then mean like this right so right so our next move is depend upon our opponent's move right so we'll discuss that now here you can see um so mean has three particular choice at this particular point right so a11 a12 a13 right so which one is lowest value here so first it will go through this particular uh, path node so value of this particular a1 action is 3 so my beta value is 3 here right beta value is 3 because mean player will always uh, consider beta value and max player is associated with alpha value okay now for from this particular branch i will get beta equals to 3 but what mean player will do mean player will always try to look for the value which is less than 3 right which is less than 3 value right so beta should be n any n value which is less than 3 value right so then only we'll update the value of beta because we always look for minimum score right then it will go to this particular branch so whether 12 is less than 3 no right so we'll not update the beta now again we'll come back to this particular branch so 8 is less than 3 no so we have fixed the beta value of 3 for this particular choice right and because we always look for a uh, value which is less than 3 right now okay now if beta equals to 3 so at this particular point the value equals to 3 now ma now max player will know okay if i go by this particular route a1 if i take this action a1 the value will be 3 so my in this case my alpha value will be 3 right so we will consider alpha value will be 3 what max player will do max player will always try to look for the value which is which is greater than 3 value right which is greater than 3 value now in this case alpha is 3 right so we'll always look for the value which is greater than alpha value right which is greater than alpha value right so in this case you can see if i go by this particular part a2 right so what mean player will do here it will try to minimize this score now first it will go through a2 1 so in this case my beta value is equals to 2 right now beta will always look for a value which is less than or equal to 2 right 
Now in this case, if you go by this particular route, so you can see 4 and 6. But one more thing to point here, this is what alpha beta pruning is. Now in this case, the value of max square that is alpha equals to 3. So it will always try to look for the value which is uh, greater than 3, right? Which is greater than this particular alpha value. But at the same time, what beta will do, it will always try to find out the value which is less than 2, right? Which is less than 2. So that's why it will try to minimize the score, but beta, but max will always try to maximize its score, right? So it, it will always look for a alpha value which is greater than 3. But if you observe here, B is trying to minimize the score which is less than 2. If it if it there, it will update the value. If it is not there, then the value of beta will be true. But anyway, we, but mean player will only update the value when it is less than 2. But here we already got the value which is greater than 2 here, that is 3, right? So anyway, we are not going to explore this particular path A2 because here the value of beta equals to 2. Here the value of beta equals to 2. So even if we got beta values less than a 2 in this, from in this path, right? So we are not going to explore this because beta will always try to minimize the value and alpha will always look for the a value which is greater than 3. So both the things cannot be true at the same time. Like value cannot be a, a less than 2 and it, and it cannot be a greater than 3, right? So both the things cannot be true at the same time. So that's why. So that's why we don't need to explore this particular node because anyway, even if this less, it is less than two, right? So still we are not going to. So anyway, max pair will not go to this particular path because it will always try to look for a better value, right? So in this case, we don't need to explore these two nodes because anyway, our value will be lesser than two only, right? So, so we are going to prune this node right we are not going to explore a to 2 and a to 3 in this case because anyway both the values cannot be possible at the same time right it cannot be less than 2 or it cannot be greater than 3 right and it cannot be greater than 3 right so we are going to prune this particular two steps okay i hope you understand this particular concept because this is very important at this particular point i don't need to go through this a to 2 a to 3 because my value of alpha is already equals to 3 so it will always try to look for better value not less than value but here beta is equals to 2 right which is less than uh, 3 so anyway we are not going to explore this a2 path so there is no need of exploring a to 2 and a to 3 right from this particular node only we can tell okay now what about a3 so at this particular point the beta value will be first it will go through this particular node a31 so beta value will be 14 right now it will always try to look for a beta value which is less than 14 right mean player will try to do but do we have value for 14 yes but why we are going to a next node here that is a32 because here alpha is equals to 3 so it will always try to maximize its score and anyway and beta will try to minimize its score but this is possible right so value of alpha can be greater than 3 and the value of beta can be less than 14 so this can be possible so that's why we have to look for all the three nodes here in this case so if you observe here uh, next is 5. So 5 is less than or equal to 14. Yes. So then beta value will be 5 in this case. So again, we'll compare. Okay. Alpha is equals to 3 and beta is equals to 5. So there can be possibility that next value can be uh, lesser than 5 but greater than 3. Right. This is also possible. Nah? 4 can be possible which is less than 5 but greater than 3. So that's why we have to look for this particular node. Now it is less than 5. Right. That is 2. So in this case, the value of beta will be true. So it will always try to take the minimum value, right? But at this particular point, the value of alpha equals to 3. So it will it will not go through this particular path A3 because he already got the path A1, which is having the more value, right? More alpha value. So that's why he will select this particular path. So in this case, we have explored all the three nodes first. Then we have explored this particular node and we have pruned this two node, right? We have pruned this two node. We don't need to explore this particular node because even if we explore, this decision is not going to change because anyway, the value of beta should be less than 2, right? And we have already explored these three nodes, right? So in this case, we have just pruned these two nodes. So we have uh, saved our time, right? Right? So one more important thing is that if we prune some nodes, so our time will be less, right? So in this case, like in best case scenario, I'm talking about in best case scenario, so time complexity will be time complexity will be order of b to the power uh, d by 2 okay so this is what the time complexity of uh, 
alpha beta polling is order of b to the power uh, d by 2 right but in the worst case it will be same order of b to the power d right or m in this case right so in the worst case it will be same only right now what is alpha beta polling so that's what we have discussed same example and we have not explored this particular node so we have pruned this two node right so that's what we have discussed now so this is one example this is homework for you right uh, first try to apply minimax algorithm on this particular node okay so try to find out the menu try to find out the value of value of node a b e i right so these three are i mean uh, point decision point and this is belongs to max right so try to find out the maximum value of this particular node minimum value of b e and i and this is the terminal value so based on maxi max algorithm try to find out the value for each of the node right and then apply alpha beta pruning alpha beta pruning to same uh, tree and tell me which nodes or path we can prune we can prune okay just tell me this how uh, you can just comment below which of the path we can prune and what is the value of a b e i in the case of minimax algorithm okay so that's it from this particular lecture i hope you understand the concept of uh, minimax and alpha beta uh, pruning right so that's it from this particular search topic so we, i already covered all the types of search that is uninformed search right informed search and now we all also complete adversarial search right adversarial search so you can expect around uh, 10 marks from this particular ai subject but out of this 10 5 to 6 marks you can expect from this search itself because lots of research has been done on search and good amount of question also can be framed so other topics are there but yeah but you can expect more weightage from this particular topic itself search so i already covered this part so there will be few tutorials only now which will be available on my website tutorials so that will be a problem solving tutorials so that's it and i will also come up with the mock test right mock test for whole search part so try to attempt that so that's it from this particular lecture in the next lecture we are going to start with a logic part okay so first that is propositional logic okay so very important concept uh maybe it, it will not take much time but yeah you need to understand that right so that's it from my side thank you